So thinking about snipers, um, it brought me back to an experience in the Dirty Berg <laughs> concerning the uh, convict of an ex-owner of my dog. And the fact that he like stashed his guns at my place once. But, um, and then one time, you know, the cops had to come over about something and they saw the cases and they asked me about it. And, uh, you know, not thinking anything of it, one actually was a dart gun, um, you know, with like a, what can I think of what they're called? Uh, you know, like stuff they put on darts to <laughs> knock out what I thought were animals seen as it, he was, you know, worked on a ranch. So I thought maybe they were just used to like, I don't know, shoot wolves or animals, but he actually acted really freaking weird about it. You know, like, like, oh my God, you let the cops see that. That's, you know, like he like free, he like, you know, was acting really paranoid about it. You know, I didn't think anything of it because I just thought it was used for just like regular ranch work or whatever. But that's just a memory that sticks out. Um, tranquilizer. Yeah, tranquilizing darts is what I meant to say. So, convicts and junkies and prisoners, that seems to be part of the storyline that is coming up. But anyways, thought I'd throw that out there concerning the fact that I had like one of his 22s and then also like a, he stashed his like, you know, tranquilizer dart gun at my place over there in the Dirty Berg. Mm, just acted weird about it when, you know, I actually like offered to show those guns to the cops there and did. So that's what he's involved in, was involved in, still involved in. Who knows, it might go a lot deeper. Some of us just wanna think the best about people and wanna think they're genuine, you know, but I don't know. So I better document that piece a little, little piece of info.